Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy from Blockchain WTF. Welcome, today we're gonna go over ERC721, a non-fungible token standard designed to represent assets on the Ethereum blockchain. Don't worry, that's confusing. We'll break down exactly what that means. So what is the purpose of ERC721? They represent unique assets and as a result can't be spent as a medium of exchange. For example, in real life meat space, a rare baseball card might have significant value, but good luck trying to buy milk with that card, even if it's a 1909 Honus Wagner. This is a monetary property known as non-fungibility. Even though those two things have value, they cannot be directly exchanged for each other. So why would anybody want a non-fungible token or smart contract if you can't spend it? The answer, these type of tokens aren't currencies. Instead, they represent unique assets that are represented on the Ethereum blockchain as smart contracts. Interestingly enough, there was a pretty interesting event that sparked this proposal. You might remember a popular dApp called CryptoKitties, which was released in December of 2017. While transactions took place in cryptocurrency and the data was imprinted onto the blockchain, the actual CryptoKitties did not exist on the chain. There is nothing that could represent a unique asset, so ERC721 was introduced. These non-fungible tokens could now represent assets like crypto kitties or even a car or a house. And that leads us to another question. What other assets could be represented as these non-fungible tokens? Limiting the impact and application of ERC721 to crypto kitties would be a mistake. There are so many different potential use cases that ERC721 opens up. The tracking of ownership or a deed just became that much easier to accomplish on the Ethereum blockchain. Any title document, unique contract, or other asset is now able to be represented on the blockchain. And that's a rundown on ERC721. What do you all think of the ERC? Let us know down below in the comments. While you're there, be sure to hit that thumbs up button to like the video. Also subscribe to make sure you get notified of all our future content. Also check out blockchain.wtf for all your blockchain and cryptocurrency needs. Also check out blockchain.wtf for all your blockchain and cryptocurrency needs. This has been Jeremy with Blockchain WTF. I'll see you next time.